trouble. Our tank's name is Scorpion, and today it's going to help me with my scientific investigation. Oh, no! Can we have a hand? Thanks, Kate. You're better off up here. This tank's specially designed to cope with soft ground. Unlike me, even with my wellies on, or should I say off, I still got stuck. But how does the tank do that? The tank has huge tracks, which means it has a very large area in contact with the ground. The weight of the tank is spread over a very large area. So that reduces the pressure on the ground. That's right. If the tank had normal car wheels, it wouldn't be able to move on any soft ground. It would just sink in. The Scorpion is famous for its very low ground pressure. It's said to be less than someone's foot. Less than someone's foot? This one needs to be investigated. In this, our Science in Action challenge, on one side, we've got Scorpion the tank, and on the other, we've got our surprise contestant, Andrea the ballet dancer. Thank you very much. Who do you think will have the most pressure on the ground? Both sides are warming up now for a head-to-head. -head. The tank weighs in at a massive 80,000 newtons. Here's Andrea, the ballet dancer, at only 600 newtons. But the tank has huge tracks, a very large surface area. Andrea's secret weapon is that she can stand on one pointed toe, a toe with a very small area. The test we've devised is to run both contestants across some ordinary sheets of polystyrene. The depth of their imprints will show who produces more pressure on the ground. OK, folks, it's the moment of truth. Scorpion, the 80,000 Newton tank with huge tracks from Boverton in Dorset, leaves an impression eight millimetres deep. But Andrea, the petite but powerful 600 Newton ballet dancer from Tombridge Wells, leaves a toe print 13 millimetres deep. That's much deeper than the tanks. In fact, the pressure of Andrea on her toe is an incredible 17 times the pressure of the tank. Wow! All that pressure for one tiny tootsie. I hope you never stand on my feet. 